Hi everyone, Amber Poole here, also known as the Chakra Diva. I'm a Crystal Reiki energy master and teacher, as well as a psychic medium. So I had some new clients this week, and they were asking me about crystals, and they were confused as what they do, and what they are, and what they represent. So I have a little quiz for you all today, and I want to see your thoughts and your opinions. I have four crystals in front of me. Now, the thing that I love and adore about crystals is that when you walk into a store, what do you do? You gravitate to the one that is calling you. And it may have a sparkle to it, maybe a certain color, um, but you're drawn to this crystal and you may not know why. And that's my favorite part. It's because the crystal and you are connecting. And other times you can write down a whole list and say, you know what, I really need um, something for my headaches. So I found that amethyst works really good for a headache. So I'm going to go to the store to purchase an amethyst you are resonating your energy field with the crystal. So I like to look at it as whatever you lack or whatever it is that you want to manifest and bring into your life, that's the crystal that you're going to pick. It's the crystal that you're going to draw. So I have four crystals that I'm going to show you, and I want you to pick whatever one you feel like, yes, that's the one I want to work with. The first one, this is Blue Kyanite. Blue kyanite, do you like it? Does it resonate with you? Does it make your solar plexus go, mm, that's yummy? <laughs> so check out this guy. My second piece is a spirit quartz. This is one of my favorite pieces, and you will find out why. Do you like it? Sometimes I'm put off by crystals. Like I will go into a store and I'm like, mm, don't like it. I don't feel it right now, and that's fine too. And then other times it's like, oh, I have got to have that piece because it's something within me that's resonating with this crystal. So this is um, red calcite, red calcite. I love calcite. Calcite's like one of my favorite, favorite stones. I have tons of different shades and colors. Um, a really nice, gentle, detoxifying crystal to use. And this is the last guy. He is an Apache tear. What do you think? So of all these guys, do you resonate with number one, number two, number three, or number four? So if you had to draw or connect in with a crystal, which one do you like? Which one do you resonate with? Now I'm going to tell you what they do and what they mean, and then you can go, you know what? I need that in my life. I actually, th that's exactly what I need at this time. So I love to use blue kyanite to align my chakras. So if you're looking for balance in your life, you want some blue kyanite. Maybe there's something that's overactive or underactive. Maybe you're spending more time in your job instead of, you know, with relationships. Or maybe you need to work on relationships and not spend so much time, you know, like, shutting yourself down into your career and not coming out. Maybe you need to spend some more time on you. Maybe there needs to be a balance with your spirituality. So this one is my stone of alignment and stone of balance for your chakras. Spirit Quartz is my favorite for connecting in with your higher self. Your higher self is understanding yourself more. It's awakening. It's also talking to your spirit team. So when I need something, this is my favorite piece because... They're all different, but anytime I see two of them together, I feel like that's spirit piggybacking on me, or I'm piggybacking on spirit. We're two, we're together, we're, we're working together. And even, this guy is my favorite channeling crystal. So when I'm channeling you know, spirits and other realms and things like that for guidance, there's two together. So these are my favorite types of crystals for doing um, work work when I need some advice. So if I want to talk to my spirit guides and say, hey, I'm, I'm a little stuck here. What is the best thing that I should do or connect it with my higher self? I'm going to go with spirit quartz. It's fantastic. Red calcite I use when you need motivation. So if you are a procrastinator or if there's something that you need to just get up and get moving on a project, that's what red calcite 
I use it for. That's how I use red calcite. It detoxifies your root chakra. So anything with family, finances, safety, and security, you will want to use it on your root chakra. If somebody has an underactive root chakra, I'm definitely going to go for some red calcite because it adds in energy. It adds in that motivation. It adds in that fire to get you going. Red calcite. And the fourth one is an Apache tear. An Apache tear is used when a person is um, holding on to grief. So grief doesn't have to be a loved one that has passed over or a pet that has passed over. Grief can be the loss of a project, a loss of career, loss of a job. Anywhere you feel like, I, I, I let go or I don't have this anymore, that's the Apache tear. What's fantastic about Apache tears is you see how this um, the white is on it. You're supposed to hold them. So if you have some grief, and you're thinking about a person or you're just really sad and in the dumps, you kind of like use this as a touchstone and you rub it and it helps you to get rid of or eliminate those energies. And as you rub the stone, the more often you rub it, it becomes this shiny black. So you can see, I don't know if you can see, but this side is very white with all these lines and this side is black. And what's really cool about that is that the more you rub it, these white lines disappear. It turns into this shiny black. And then if you put it up to the light, let me see if I can do this correctly. Oh, but I'm taking a picture. That's not going to work. Let's see. I don't know if you guys can be able to see. Aha. Do you see that? You can actually see through the crystal. So if you hold it up to the light, it becomes transparent. And really, we're saying you're bringing the darkness to the light. So if you're in grief and you're in a time that you need some love, you need some light in your life, I would absolutely grab the Apache tear and hold it up to the light to remember we're bringing the darkness to the light. So those are my four crystals that I chose for you today. Leave a comment below if something resonated with you. If you were like drawn to one of the crystals and you said, you know what, I'm actually looking for some motivation on a project or maybe I do need alignment. When you go into a crystal store, you can shop by color, you can shop by having that list, but I like to shop blindly, meaning I don't know I try not to know what the crystals are. I kind of know the crystals by now, you know what I mean? I'm a crystal expert when I'm going into the store. But I try to go, oh, I'm, this is the first thing that I'm drawn to. So what kind of crystals are you drawn to? And there's a reason why you're drawn to that crystal at that time. Sometimes crystals will repel you. And I say that because it's not the right time for you to use them. Um, like Celestite. I've never been drawn to it, ever. And then last week, I found this piece that I just adore, and I carry with her, like me, with her. We're together. We're buds now, everywhere. So she's in my car with me. She's coming home with me. She goes to work with me. She's hanging up right now. But she comes everywhere with me because that's what I need in my life at this moment. And then as I shift through and um, different things change in my life, then I'll be drawn to another crystal. So go ahead. I would love it if you subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below of what kind of crystal you love, what you're drawn to, or any of the four crystals were right for you. I'll talk to you later.